I really want to share more about how you actually earn money in this business. And I want you to really know like why we do the things we do. And like, you can't understand all of that if you don't actually know how the income is earned. And so I feel like sometimes we miss out on this information and I want to make sure that I'm totally making it clear because if our goal in February is to earn the most we've ever made, then we need to know how to do that, right? And where the money actually comes from. So I'm going to pull this up real quick here. So this is an old slide show. So if I'm like skipping through a bunch of it, let me know. But I do want you to pull up the chat on your, on your thing so that if you're at so that you can ask questions. And I want you to grab a pen and paper. This is really important for me to know if you're understanding what I'm saying, because um, sometimes things click with some people and sometimes it takes longer in other areas. And so when we're talking money, sometimes it, um, I just wanna make sure I'm not talking too fast. Okay, so how to make money. Here's the deal. <laughs> Helping others will make them and you happy. Making money while helping others will make you, them, and your spouse happy. <laughs> I made this slide a while ago because I kept getting people ask me, like, why is your husband, like, how is your husband so supportive? And my husband doesn't support me and blah, 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 blah. Well, you may or may not be married right now, but usually someone has a significant other in their household or a family member that's, like, not the most um, excited about your business. And I always come back to the same thing. If you show them the money, they will feel differently, right? So show them the money. And I promise you, it, I have seen it so many times when it comes to like somebody running their business, a wife who um, whose husband isn't supportive. And when they say it's not supportive, sometimes they're downright like me, not supportive. And sometimes they're just like, they just are acting like it's a hobby of yours. And the person wants to be like, um, you know, held at a higher respect than that. And I always say, listen, if you want them to respect it the way you want them to respect it, like a business, you need to start making money. And for you to start making money, you need to start doing actions more. And I hate to be so blunt, but it's true. Like this is how it is. So show them the money. If you are the CEO of your own life, start making executive decisions today. Okay. So how to be your own CEO. Whoop, whoop all over the place. Educate yourself. And that's what I'm going to do today with you. Study as if you were in medical school. And I say that as in, and I'm sorry if I'm here, but I say that as in, don't like you're putting people who are in medical school, put in a ton of money into it, right? They are investing so much money in this. You're only investing like $140. So it's easy to push off as if you didn't make a huge investment. I want you to act like you invested so much money in this and that it is urgent for you to earn that money back because that's what's going to help you push yourself to making these decisions and putting in the action every day act like it's a huge investment this is part of your personal development set a timer for your education every day but really learn educate yourself learn while you're driving i call it university on the wheels listen to something while you're driving, um, doing laundry, doing dishes, educate yourself. Okay. Read the policies and procedures. I'm going to show you that today. Um, we'll skip over that. And then, um, that just is an old way of looking up the policies and procedures. Okay. I'm going to go over the different ways of earning an income. So team cycle bonus is the one that most people get a little confused on. And that's how is the team built, right? So we're going to go over this. Ooh, that is not what I want you to see right now. That looks very confusing. Let's see if I can break this down a little bit more. Yes, okay, here we go. Can you see this or can you see this page? Okay, good. So you have your upline diamond. Can you see my cursor too or no? Yes, okay, good. So you have your upline diamond, right? And uh, upline sponsor, or they could be the same person if your up sponsor is your diamond, um, right? Your sponsor is the person who got you started. So you are right here, okay? And then what? the team starts being built underneath you. So sometimes you'll see some people underneath you, sometimes you won't, it just depends on how fast the upline diamond is going or the upline is moving, or if they're actually building under that team right now versus another team. So let's just act like your personally sponsored got you started, right? And you got started right here and this is them. So in this 
scenario, it could be swip swatched for you, but in this scenario, you are on the upline sponsor's right side, okay? Right after you got started, that sponsor added somebody else. And when they added them, they added them underneath you. Is that your personally sponsored person? No, but it's somebody in your downline because they are sponsored after you and under you. Make sense? I hope so, yes? Okay, so then you decide, I'm gonna get somebody started and I'm gonna start them on my weak leg or how about inside leg, we're gonna name it, right? Your inside leg. This person in blue is yours because they're blue. So pay attention to the colors because this makes it <laughs> makes it easier. This person is not your personally sponsored person because that's your upline color. Okay, so you get someone started here. Then you start somebody else on your right side. So this is you. This is your left side. This is your right side. There are two personally sponsored people, right? Now, if both of those people are active, meaning they're ordering 50 points value of anything or more every four weeks, they are considered active. If these two people are active, you are now emerald because you got one person started on your left, an active person, one active person started on the right, and you yourself are active. So you are ordering 50 PV, anything of 50 PV or more every month, right? That means we're all active and you are now emerald. When you hit emerald, guys, you will start earning team cycle bonuses. And I'll show you what that means, but it's very important. Um, in our Beachbody career, at first, our income is driven through commissions. And I'll show you a little bit more about that at first. But at first, our income is going to come through commissions. But over time, as you start building your team, your team bonuses will definitely go past the commission amount, right? And you want it to. You want the bulk of your income to come from team cycle bonuses because that's true, truly not gonna that's truly residual income right it's it's making the most out of your time by building a team of people okay so we'll talk about that in a minute now see this person over on the right that's another person that your personally sponsored person started right I, but i'm like confusing myself sorry your upline sponsor got them started right but now you see pay attention here this is your outside leg which i can call a shared leg meaning your upline sponsor and the people above them they might put people in your shared leg. They might build that team for you a little bit. They're not gonna put anybody in your inside leg. They're only gonna be putting people in your outside leg. That's why I call it a shared leg or an outside leg, okay? And in that case, you have to understand that all of these people here on this line are all working as a team, right? Because if I'm putting somebody down at the bottom and then you're putting somebody down at the bottom and then they're putting somebody down at the bottom, everybody's helping each other out and boosting each other's income, right? It is truly a team effort. When you get someone started, when they get somebody started, when I get somebody started, all on that same leg, we're all working together. So it really is a team effort. I mean, like you are earning money from the things that they're doing. Okay, so then this is another person who got started by your upline sponsor. So now maybe you got somebody started over here, and then somebody else over there. So you're working your way up to diamond here. Okay, now I'm gonna show you something. Everybody underneath you, everybody on both sides, your um, left side and your right side, that is all your downline. Doesn't matter if you sponsored them or not, they're considered your downline. If they are in your, we call it a genealogy, because you know, we're family. So if they're in your genealogy, they are your downline, okay? Now everybody above you is considered your upline. Okay, so we got those terminology things. That's really important to understand terminology. Hold on, I wanna mute. Hey, Patty, I'm muting you. Okay, so <laughs> everybody, what did I, I don't know what I wrote here. Everybody over there, I don't know what I wrote. Oh, right leg, left leg. That's pretty easy to understand. Okay, now here we go. Everybody, I'm gonna, for like ease, sake of ease here, of, of being understood, I put 90 points to all these people, just assuming that everybody's on Shakeology. Shakeology is 90 points. I'm just gonna assume everybody on this team is drinking Shakeology and they're all on 90 points. It never looks exactly like that. So don't, don't quote me to that, but let's just use 90 as an, for, for um, just to understand easily. Oops. Okay, so, 
this is how team cycle bonuses are figured out. When we say strong leg and weak leg, strong leg just means there's more points going through that leg. So you can see here, there's more points going through this leg at this, on this week, changes every week. On this week, this leg is your strong leg and um, this leg is your weak leg because there's less points. TV stands for team volume. So anybody underneath you, their point value, personal point value, which is from their order and from their customer orders, all of that added together is your team volume. So on the right leg, if you add all that together, it's 360. Left leg, add that all together, 270. Okay, are we on the same page right now? Give me a thumbs up. Is this, like, I, I don't want to fly by, okay, we're good. Okay, we're good. So far, I only see Kristen and Colleen on here, so I'm just going with them. <laughs> all right, team cycle bonuses. We already brought that up. Um, okay, so we had 270 on the left leg, 360 on the right leg, and this is per week, right? So we're doing this on a weekly basis because we get paid weekly, okay? So weekly basis, here's our total point values. When we get a team cycle bonus, it's a one to two ratio. You have to have 200 points on one side and 100 points on the other side to be considered a cycle, okay? That is one cycle. So right here, if you can subtract, and it doesn't matter which side it is, it has to be 200 on one and 100 on the other, okay? So if we subtract those points, then it comes out to these amount of points here down below, and that would be considered one cycle. Now, if you add another zero on the back of all these numbers, you can see how it's going to be in multiple cycles, right? Not just going to be one cycle. It's going to be 10 cycles or whatever it is, right? Okay, so this is one cycle. Now, here's where the income comes in from team cycle bonuses, and that's why it's called team cycle bonuses, right? Because it's, you know, you're looking at these cycles. I'm using my hands, but you can't see my hands here. You're using these cycles, right? So an emerald will earn $14 per cycle. A ruby will earn $16 per cycle. And a diamond will earn $18 per cycle. Now, that doesn't seem like a lot, but let me tell you, these cycles can start moving very quickly. And if you're not staying at $18 per cycle, you're missing out on a ton of money. So when you hear us say, you need to get to Diamond as soon as possible, it's because we don't want you missing out on this income that should be coming into you, right? The more time you spend that as a Diamond, you're like literally throwing away money. It's only a $4 difference when you look at it per cycle, but four times 100 cycles is $400, right? So we don't want you to be missing out on that. So get to Diamond as quick as possible so that you can make the most money for your team cycle bonuses, okay. The remaining balance then is carried over to the next week as long as you stay active. I need you to understand this, this is so important because if your business, let's just say something happens, and I don't mean to be like super melancholy here, but someone close in your family passes away and you have to step away from your business for a little bit, even if it's for a week, whatever. You need to stay on top of making sure you're active because let's just, this happens. You could have 20,000 points going in one leg that hasn't cycled yet. And if you don't go active, they disappear. Okay. So staying active is really important. Don't let yourself become inactive and lose all of your banked points. Okay. That is just money going down the drain. Even if you're not, this sounds crazy, but it happens. Even if you're not working for six months and you have to build your business back up, those points will still stay there as long as you're active. And, and while your team is growing and getting points, let's say that shared leg is still growing and your upline sponsor is still building that one leg, they just keep accumulating. You do not want to lose those points. Stay active. Staying active means that you're at least ordering 50 PV every month okay so really important stay active <laughs> in other words drink your shakeology daily and stay on home direct that will keep you active you'll never have to worry about it if you're doing that okay what are we talking about next this is your graphical genealogy like i said 
if you go into your um, coach office and you look up graphical gene genealogy, you'll be able to see all the names of the people underneath you in this like visual way. That's why it's called graphical genealogy. Um, these people here who are in blue, and I don't know why my words are screwed up there. There we go. The blue people are your personally sponsored people. This is important to know because this is how you rank advanced. You only rank advanced based on your personally sponsored people, not your whole downline, just your personally sponsored people, okay? And this is where the rank advancements come in to play. And like I said on the previous page, you, the reason why we rank, one of the reasons why we rank advanced is so we're making more per team cycle bonus. Makes sense? So you have Emerald, which is two active people, one on your left and one on your right. Ruby, which honestly, people fly through Ruby. Usually they go to Diamond before they ever hit Ruby. But Ruby, and the reason being is because usually people get, there are like eight people personally sponsored first and then turn the, like two of them into Emeralds. But Ruby is two personally sponsored on your left, two personally sponsored on your right, two of them, um, one from each side being Emerald. And then Active Diamond is four on the left, four on the right, one on each side, one of them being emerald okay so really if you look at your business this way if you can keep going emerald just keep going emerald yourself add to add to add to add to and then help somebody else do the same add to add to add to add to add to you really just need to teach people how to hit emerald and your business will fly you just need to keep hitting emerald and then teach other people how to hit emerald it's really just Emerald, Emerald, all over and over and over again. So why hit Emerald? You can start team cycle bonusing. It's a stepping stone. You're building your team. You get free leads. So the company actually sends us people who are ordering. This is one of the cool things about Beachbody because it's a name brand. Like everybody knows it. Like if you ask somebody, have you ever heard of P90X? They're like, yeah, absolutely. Who hasn't? Insanity, P90X, all these things. Like, people know what Beachbody is. And because of that, they go to beachbody.com and they order stuff when they do that the company links a coach to them and then you get that person as a lead now do they turn into anything sometimes yes sometimes no but the next time they order something you're getting the commission to it because they linked you to them make sense it's really important to know that give me a thumbs up if i'm making sense i'm not give me a thumbs down <laughs> all right cool so why hit emerald now listen emerald super easy just a quick decision you just call your mom you call your uncle you call your sister you call your brother you get them sponsored bam emerald you're done right okay we're good there left right emerald okay so um this is like just the and i or i can't see because my window's in the way this is just like an idea of how things can be um put together I can't I think this is my last slide hold on a second I can't find my window now oh there we go okay so let me move over to the next thing real quick before I move over to the next thing please let me know if you have any questions in regards to staying active, I have a question around delaying an order. So even if it's in the same month, it needs to be every, it needs, yes, it needs to be every, to be honest, I think it's supposed to be every five weeks, but you have to check on that. It's, I think it's every five weeks, but I, I just go with four because I'm too nervous for it to like be messed up. But yeah, it can't be just, it can't just be like, it can't be like the beginning of January and the end of February. Because there's too many weeks then you're going to lose out on your on on being active does that make sense yeah so if you actually want to delay your order but want to make sure you're staying active you almost kind of have to delay it a week or a couple days at a time to get it towards the part of the month that you want it because i think that's how yeah. i ended up going inactive one time and yeah pushed and it the, out to the end of the month yeah the other thing that you have to keep notice on is guys this is important too i just keep I just, my account that's diamond, I just keep, I think when you're diamond, well, we'll look in a second, but I think when you're diamond, you need 100 PV. I just keep my things on the same order and on HD with the right amount of PV. And if for some reason I need to change it, I'm very cognizant about what I'm changing it to and when, because to earn all the things, success club, team cycle bonuses as a diamond, to earn all those things, it needs to be an HD order. 
it can't just be an order. You can't just order this, like something every month. It has to be on HD. That's another thing. Um, so you have to pay attention to those things. Really pay attention to them because sometimes that is literally I've seen people lose out on three, four thousand dollars because um, of little things like that that they forgot about. So really important to keep that in mind. Okay, so let me get rid of that page. I'm gonna bring this up real quick. Um, I have only a couple minutes left because I said it would only be half an hour and I hope it's not too loud in here. I hope you guys can hear me. Okay, this is the compensation plan highlight, okay? When I looked for these, I literally just went into Google and typed in compensation plan highlight because I forgot where to find it. So don't be afraid to just Google stuff when you're looking for it. Right here at the top, number one, this is where I was telling you, most of, in the beginning of your business, most of your income is gonna come from challenge pack bonuses and commissions, okay? Right here's a nice little display about how you can earn like $900 within your first three months. Is it 900 on here? Maybe 750, I don't know, you have to add this up. Anyway, helping three people the first month, three people the next month, and three people the third month. Now listen, this is, this right here is like in a perfect world, which is never perfect. You're never always gonna have all three of the people that you got started in each month come back and order Shakeology the next month and the next month, okay? So understand that. I would say more like three people in one month, four people in one month, five people the next month, and maybe like one or two people will keep that Shakeology for each of those months. Does that make sense? Like people are gonna drop on Shakeology. So I don't like this example for that reason, but it's a, it shows you how you get paid. So if you do three challenge packs one month, it's $150. In the next month, three challenge packs, 150 plus last month's people ordering Shakeology, it, like on HD, it gets shipped again, right? There's another commission from all three of them. Next month, three people challenge packs. Here's the people from the first month's Shakeology coming over again. And then the second month, people on Shakeology. See how the income starts to increase because you have more and more customers ordering things on HD. Okay, so that's really important. We'll talk about that in a minute. These are the team cycle bonuses. I love this because it shows as an ML $14 um, dollars per cycle bonus. You can earn up to, and they max it out for your team cycle bonuses. But I love this because it's like, you max at 250 per week as an ML. You max at a thousand per week, and then two thousand per week as a diamond, three thousand as one star, two thousand as four star, and it keeps going up, right? Ten, fifteen star is twelve thousand per week. Um, a lot of people ask, um, how do I, how do I go, how do I do, how do I get up to ten or fifteen star diamond? And every single person who's ever been there will say, and I know this to be true, just by going up to two star, is do what you're doing now and multiply it. That's literally it. If you're inviting 10 people a day, start inviting 100 people a day, and you'll get up there very quickly. And that's exactly what some of these like quick, the people who I've seen go from like two star to 15 star in a year or less, it's just because they started inviting 100 people a day. Literally, literally, that's what they did, right? And, um, and you can just watch them. Kate Schultes is one, she just did it last year. Um, Emily Favre is one, um, Ashley Feldison is another, and that's what they did. They just decided to 10x what they were doing, and they were able to get there quickly, okay? So then you have matching bonus, meaning as a diamond myself, um, Colleen is my personally sponsored person, right? So when Colleen starts making team cycle bonuses, let's say she earns $150 in team cycle bonus this week. I will earn 10% of that. So I'll get $15 of that. And that all adds up very quickly too as you grow your team. Um, four star or any star diamond bonus. This, this is why I, I want so badly for you guys to go two star at first, so badly, because the company puts aside half a percent of their, um, what is this out of? I think it's out of their, hmm, what is it? It's, half a percent of their profits, I think. Half a percent they put into a pool for the two star diamonds. And then another half a percent they put in 10 star diamond pool, five star and 15, right? And it's cumulative. So let me show you. Kaylee posted this the other day. This was somebody, an example of somebody's paycheck. This is in their back office. They were able to get in every single bonus 
um, pool. Okay, so this is how much they earned from their two-star bonus pool. That's paid quarterly. This was their five-star bonus pool. That's paid quarterly. This is the 10-star bonus pool, 9,800, and the superstar diamond bonus pool, 43,000. Now, why is it so different? Because there's more people separating this, like sharing it, right? There's more people sharing this because more people are at two-star, and there's less ten, uh, superstar, like 15-star diamonds, sharing so they get to split the pot and it's more per person does that make sense so if you are 15 star you get the two star the five star the 10 star and the 15 star bonus every quarter okay so this is exactly what it is so last quarter it was 770 dollars basically for a two star diamond okay and that's per quarter and then these are every year or every year you'll see this calendar and it tells you when you need to hit the rank by and how long you need to hold it for you to get paid on this date. See? So yeah. Oh, Colleen's got it printed out. Sweet. So when you see me saying, dude, you need to go star diamond because it's really freaking great. That is why. That's why I want everybody to go to star diamond at least. Like I truly feel like if you go to star diamond, you finally know what it takes to build this business. And you'll know if you want to do this long term. Before that, you're just learning and learning and learning and growing and trying and you know what I mean? It's not until you hit two star that you're like, oh, okay, I think this might be something I want to do for life. <laughs> you really get an idea of the income potential. You start seeing things, you start realizing things, you get into a rhythm and you really start to learn how you can build this big time. Does that make sense? Did I lose anybody in all of that? No. Okay. So real quick, I want you to unmute yourself and let me, or, or at least write it in the chat. Oops, gosh, I can't see you now. I just erased everybody off my screen. There we go. Um, were you on the call on Thursday or did you watch the replay? After this. Okay. All right. Anybody else? I was on the call, it's Maria. Maria, you were on the call on Thursday. Yep. Did you get anything out of the call on Thursday? Let me let me ask this in a different way. Did you make a list of the things that I told everybody to make a list of on Thursday? The ten things that you love about being a coach. I did. I'm I'm just starting. But okay. uh, I already have a pretty good list. <laughs> Beautiful. So did you write any of the things that inspired you that other people were saying as well? Oh, I'm looking back at my notes. That's okay. Look, look at your notes, but I'm going to ask a couple other questions. Uh -huh. um, let's get off of that topic because we'll come back to that in a second. Do, does everybody on here, there's five other people other than me on here, do you know when your next challenge group is and, yep. and the, the start date of what you're inviting to right now? Does that make sense? Colleen, go ahead. I'm actually looking at not this, not the first week of February, the second week of February as being the prep week. So everybody starts after Valentine's Day. Okay, so you're talking prep week starts on the 10th. Okay, cool. Anybody else? Do you know your dates? Let me ask you a question, Colleen. If the 10th is when you're starting prep week, what day do they need to know by to join? I will literally get them all the way up till the, the Friday before. Uh, before the prep day? Yeah, and then sometimes okay. depending on how engaged they are in conversations, right up to that point, I'll let them come in a couple days past the prep week till they started the prep week. Okay. So we got basically the 10th. So you're starting people by the 10th. Basically. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, does everybody else have one? The date that Kristen, we're starting the 10th as well. Right. Yeah. Um, and I plan for people to start the workouts on the 10th. <laughs> uh, my prep week is like prep days. Let them, they can prep over the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I don't need a full week for people to prep because it takes too long then and people are drawn out. They just want to start. 
Like I want to yeah. start too if I was getting something. So I just do now Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and I and I have the chapters in the group, so I don't worry about taking too long with the prep. <laughs> I feel like nobody pays attention anyway when I'm doing it. <laughs> um, and then I keep a little pod for the people getting started in case they have questions and want to talk to each other. Patty and Liz, do you have a date? I did You're something. Unmuted. Okay. You're unmuted. Um, you? Sorry. I, um, I run mine in the same group. So I just start with a new banner February 1st. So I start mine every month. And if I get a f influx of new people, I do what you just said. I start a messenger thread and I do the prep days in there with them and then transfer them to the group. So I do that too. I have a running group, same group. Everybody's in that same group but I still make sure I have a start date because my marketing needs a start date. There's I do that if, if not. I do that when I create events. I didn't for February yet, but I had a lot going on in my house, so I haven't had much computer time. That's fine. Um, I suggest just picking a date, like now. <laughs> Pick a date, don't think too much about it. I'd give yourself two weeks, so two weeks from now. Pick a date, I think that is, February 10th, two weeks from now. Just pick a date and go with it because you and your downline coaches who are inviting to the same thing need to have that date to go off of. And then you guys can create that pod together and get excitement going. Something that I tend to do is if anybody's interested, anybody, and they didn't sign up yet, I still put them in that pod and I like keep them all updated at the same time. So maybe it's like one more week to go you know, and then you say something maybe a couple days prior, two more days to go and you say something and, and as people are getting started, you congratulate them in there. We kind of used to do this with groups, but people don't really look in groups anymore. So if you do it in a pod, it gets people excited. You can put transformation pictures in there. You can really have fun. And as long as someone said that they were interested, you'd be like, I'm going to add you to this pod so I can keep you updated. Do you know what I mean? And then once yeah. you start, start the um, group, get started then you can either take everybody out i i don't take anybody out actually i just keep them in there and i start a new pod of just the people who got started does that make sense yeah but what do you mean by pod you um mean, i'm like calling a, a chat thread? Mm -hmm. okay. thread. Oh. i don't know i call it a pod I don't know. <laughs> okay so um this is about to be gone in five minutes i'm gonna have to turn this off but that is your first step all of you you need to have a date you can't be inviting to something without a date. Like you have to have a date. Secondly, when it take anything I'm saying when it comes to this, the same as coaching. When you're inviting to coaching, have a date. Have a date for training. Like I'm starting my training in two weeks. You want to get started? I fell off of that a long time ago, and I'm just realizing, oh my gosh, that made such a big difference for me. Inviting somebody to a training, like that, it's just like inviting somebody to a challenge group. Having a date is really, really important. That's number one. Number two, on Thursday, I told everybody to make a list of 10 things that they love about coaching, right? Very small, specific, doesn't matter what it is, things, right? Something like just anything that you love about coaching or that you, um, you can do a separate list and write 10 things that you are looking forward to with coaching, right? I want you to do the same thing for challenge groups. And then each one of those things, each one, take one thing and make a post about it. And then another thing make a post about it stay very on focus with that one thing in your post right so one small thing small write a post about it put your picture with it right do a call to action at the end next one do uh, write a post and and just get into the groove and just write post after post after post you could literally like write five posts in an hour then you know what pictures you need and then you can schedule them right so if you do that for every day of the week for two weeks, then you'll have so many people to invite to your challenge group, right? So you need to know the date, you need to write the list of the 10 things, and then write the, your posts with those 10 things. You could do three or four at a time, it doesn't matter. You don't need to do all 10 right away, but make sure you're posting every single day, and then you'll know you're inviting the people from yesterday's post, right? So there's a straight up system to this. Same with stories, you can do the same thing with stories and you can like even, 
even in your post, like you can write something very small and then about that picture and the topic and then say, see my stories and actually talk about that topic in your stories. Does that make sense? It's all like you can be so strategic about it and have it set up ahead of time so that you don't have to think twice. That's what I'm about to do right now. So two minutes on here, I have to get off. I will come back on if you want <laughs> and we can work together because that's what I'm about to do. Um, I'm gonna write down my topics, my 10 things, and then I'm gonna do uh, which day I'm gonna talk about what, or I might not even plan it per day. I might just kind of pick a topic each day, but I'm gonna have my post written ahead of time and then know that that's what I'm gonna talk about in my story. Does that make sense? Cool. I'm really excited guys, because if, if we're all doing this together, I'm telling you, you guys are gonna go diamond in February. I'm like so excited for you. One other thing is, um, just one more thing before we get off of here because we have two minutes left, is I've been getting everybody started as a coach. I just put it in the package. I'm like, listen, this is what you, this is what you need to get started. You get this and this and this and this and this. And when I list all the things out, I also write coach account for future discounts and then give the amount. Like I don't even, I just keep it like that. I don't even, I don't add it as an option later. I just do it. If somebody comes back and like is like I absolutely do not want that, then I'll take it off. But I just keep it. I just put it in their package, right? When I'm talking about what's in the package, when you do that, you'll be able to go diamond very, very quickly. All right, that's it. I know I talked a lot, and there. And but anyway, this it should help. If you need anything, let me know. Um, and I'm gonna get off of here. If you guys want to hop back on me, you can work with me. Sound good? Bye. Ha, <laughs> ha,